Hey guys, welcome back to the series. It is week number 168. So in at number 10, we've got a bromance between Spence Soul and Scorpio. Both of them are going to have clips in number 10. But we've got Scorpio, he's going to plummet into the tire wall there after leading the race. And then we have got uh, Spence Soul in the lead this time with Scorpio behind him going through maggots and beckets and coming on to the hangar straight. And he's going to sim twitch, get things all wrong and end up in a tire wall of his own. And then coming in at number 9, we have got a stream that is happening with ESV Bullet. And he's going to have a bit of an oopsie daisy through the chicane at Prague. The tire wall, I will say it until the day I die, should never be there. But uh, anyway, he's about to get overtaken here. And FTC Banana, who we're going to see later, is going to be a banana and crash into the inside of the wall there. And then coming in at number 8, we've got Fireproof Bean. He's found a chap who I'm not entirely sure is dirty. I think he just really needs to work on his overtakes. Uh, because we've got two clips here. And he's going to go for a somewhat optimistic move here. Just bulldoze his way through and end up crashing into a tire wall. And then later on, at Daytona, he's going to do the same. So we're coming up to the chicane here. This time it's a bit more spectacular, he's going to go for the extreme inside line, it's just straight line, it's straight into the tire wall there. Uh, definitely needs to work on those overtakes. So in at 7, we have got another race on Prague, this could have actually been the exact same race as the number 9 clip. Uh, we've got the similar sort of guys here, so we've got Rixon up in front there. So coming in at number 6, we have got a Bathurst start here from Blood Racer and someone has not started, which is not good for the health of Blood Racer's car, but nevertheless, I think he might have recorded that. Nevertheless, he is going to carry on with the race and it's a good thing he did carry on because you're about to witness one of the greatest rejoins in the history of racing. There we go, just straight into the path of another car. And uh, that's the end of both of their cars. And then coming in at number 5, we've got Spence Soul again with a bit of an oopsie dozy And again in the Honda S2000. So he's going to take complete leave of his senses here as he goes into the braking zone. The final braking zone in fact, and he's just going to stop braking. And uh, I think he just assumed he had the handling of an F1 car, but that wasn't the case. Fortunately for him, he only lost one position, but that was very, very embarrassing indeed. And then coming in at number four, we've got an utterly perplexing clip, this one, from Blood Race. I'm super confused as to what happened, but anyway, let's try and work through it. Maybe we can come up with some conspiracy theories. Uh, we're going to have first place, who's just going to come across the road. So let's just watch that and see what happened. So on the map, he's cutting across there. I don't know if he's aiming for Blood Race. There's no way he could possibly know that's him. And then he's just going to crash into him. And then coming in at 3, we've got Snooty. And uh, rally cars in Forza are apparently a massive challenge for most people. Because we're in 17th place now. And we're going to come out of this little chicane in uh, 10th place. But the positions are still up for grabs because two guys are going to just shove each other off pretty much. And he's up into 8th now. And then coming in at number 2, we have got Gordon Roder. This is a rammer he found in the lobby, so we're not on board with Gordon Road. He's going to go for the ram here. And a beautiful example of karma, he's going to miss out. It's only game. Why do you have to be mad? And then the karma is not over because someone else is going to come and crash into him. Probably saw what was happening or getting his own back for earlier. And that guy is going to get absolutely destroyed there, rolling a good few times. And let's just say for the sake of this clip, that this is going to put him in last place. I really hope that was the case. And then in at one, we have got FTC Banana. Told you you'd see him later. And we got the actual Banana here is in front of him. Uh, so he's coming to get past this Lambo. And I mean, the Lambo is not too happy about that. He's going to swerve and it is going to not quite go to plan, is it? Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope. So in with some bonus clips, but before we get into those, if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to leave a comment, why not go ahead and join the engagement gang like the guys on the screen right now. And if you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. But first up, we've got a man known only as 13 on my Discord, racing here at Monza and ACC. And we've got this guy in the lead who's very slow. And turn one was actually okay, but Ascari, not so much. This guy's going to go for some sort of ram and end up spinning his own car there. 
And then we've got a league race Q2, which is not going to go quite as this guy intended. Oh shit. Oh. You complete donut! I mean, I was I already out of Q3 and just anyway. That. What happened? I've missed it, what happened? <laughs> I missed what that. Oh, I'm so upset I missed that. And you did oh, get that on stream. And then jumping to Project Cars 2, where we have a car mounting another car and getting pushed around by it, and getting a nice little toe down the straights, just a different type of toe, and then he's going to end up crashing into the tie wall. And then next up we've got D-Time 2, and I like to believe that this is consensual, just getting repeatedly pounded nice and hard by the trucks there. And he's now in the tire wall, he's in the rubber, and eventually the truck is going to shove him enough that he is going to be able to break free and get shoved underneath the track. Never to be seen again. And then we have Thomas, who is racing at, I believe this is Macau, and he's found himself in an awesome power situation because that track is about as wide as the car is long so he is pretty much wedged and then finally we've got some unbelievable karma here from Ostrich on Toast and I think I need to be quiet for you guys to properly appreciate this So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, go and leave a like. If you're on here, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much to my patrons whose names you're seeing on screen right now. If you'd like to join them and get access to videos early, the link is in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next video.